The new discussions feature within Digital Chalk is the newest way to help your users interact with your course content and with each other more effectively. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up and manage your discussions, and we'll take a look at the student view within a discussion. Let's get started by clicking on the Discussions tab in the upper right-hand side. This is going to take us to our dashboard. Our dashboard gives us a lot of very easy, glanceable information about our discussions. We can see the number of posts over time. We can see the total posts and active users, the number of user reactions or flagged posts. Scrolling down, we'll see the most recent posts added in any of our discussions. We'll see the list of our top discussions and our most active users. To manage our discussions, we're going to scroll to the top and click on the Manage Subcategory tab. This allows us to review all of our discussions. I only have one, so it's the only one on the list. But if we'd like to create a new discussion, this is a great place to do it. Let's click on Create Discussion. The first thing we'll do when we're creating a discussion is give our discussion a name. There's a place here to provide a prompt. This allows you to help coach your users on what you'd like them to discuss within this discussion, but it's not a required field, so you can leave it blank if you'd like. Every discussion in Digital Chalk is connected to an offering. So once you add your title, you'll select the offering that you would like this discussion to show within. Users who are registered for this offering will be available to add into this discussion. Sentiment is a new feature within Digital Chalk that allows a machine learning algorithm to determine sentiment for each post. So it will show as more green for positive feedback or more red for negative. You can turn this off by selecting this toggle box. Auto approved posts means that as soon as a user posts something in a discussion, it's visible to every other user. If you'd like a moderator to review posts before they become visible, you can toggle this off. And here's where you add moderators. One thing in Digital Chalk is that you don't have to be an administrator to be a moderator. So anyone that you would like to have moderation rights to this discussion, you can add them here. Now let's click Save. Now that I've created a second discussion, you'll see I have two discussions on my Manage Discussion list. Let's click on the title of my previous discussion to review what's inside. When I click on a discussion title, I'm able to see the, the title, the prompt. If selected, I can review the sentiment. I can also edit this information by clicking on Edit Discussion to the right. I'm also available to add a comment into the discussion or review or reject any of the previous comments that have been submitted from this page. If a user is only listed as a moderator, they won't have the manage option, but they will be able to moderate the discussion. If we click on the moderate subcategory tab, this is what moderators will see. This allows you to review any submitted comments in the discussion and approve them, reject them, delete them, or reply to them. You can also sort by clicking on these boxes to the right. If we scroll to the top, the last subcategory tab is the reporting tab. This allows you to run reports on all of your discussions, on posts within any of your discussions, on any flagged posts. And remember, a flagged post is if a user flags a post, it's for moderator review and possibly deletion. Maybe they think that that comment is inappropriate. And you can run a report for all of the moderators across all of your discussions. Now let's take a look at what a user will see interacting in a discussion. All right, here we are as a user. Just like normal, we have the offering on our dashboard and we click on the title to get started. And just like normal, we have all of the course here, uh, any description text and the elements for us to take. But if, now if we continue scrolling, now we can see the information in the discussion and any posts by users that have been approved by moderators up until this point. To submit a post, we just have to type and hit save. This will submit this for approval to the administrator. We can also reply or react to other users' posts. So I can react to this with a thumbs up and reply. This allows your users to interact with each other and 
answer and ask questions about the course content. If you have any questions on this, please let us know at support at digitalchalk.com.